hello and welcome to my support solutions youtube channel in this video session we will learn about defined structure of data screens for each screen sequence in sap s4 hana we will cover the following points in this video so basically there are two types of data screens main screen or main data and secondary screen or additional data we will check this uh, screens in mm03 display material master so right now we are in the transaction code mm03 and we are given the material so before we start uh, let us say this basic data 1 basic data 2 purchasing accounting 1 uh, plan stock accounting 2 etc are called as a data views this is a particular data view of basic data 1 basic data 2 like that and the sequence in which these views are arranged is called as a screen sequence we will discuss this later on in this video so right now we we'll click on the continue give the plan code so this is called as a main screen okay or main data means what all these views like basic data 1 2 purchasing accounting 1 costing 1 etc are available in this main screen or main data and if we click on this additional data the there are different other views are also available like descriptions unit of measure additional ens consumption etc so this is called as a additional data screen okay if we click again on main data system will yes now these are our main data screens again so let us say i will take a back let's check enter so as discussed before a few minutes like uh, these are the views and The sequence in uh, which these views are arranged are called as a screen sequence okay so 21 is a standard screen sequence defined in sap okay we can observe this in this below screenshot so 21 is a standard screen sequence and what we will do in our practical session we will uh, not work on the standard screen sequence defined rather with reference to this we will create our own screen sequence okay we will create our own screen sequence and in this step of omt3b that is defined structure of data screens for each screen sequence which is the topic of this video and after that we will uh, discuss with practical all these points okay now uh, first of all i will close this this to give uh, idea regarding the display screen slash n omt3b this is a transaction code okay omt3b so this is a screen for transaction code omt3b so we will select this 21 standard screen sequence and click on the continue or oh, sorry then click on copy as button and we will give our own screen sequence code and uh, to identify it better give it give the company code screen sequence press enter system will copy all the data screens and sub screens for the standard screen sequence that is 21 number here system will copy all the data screens and sub screens from this 21 to our defined or given screen sequence code that is z1 in this case 
so we will cut this press enter number of dependent entries copied continue including transactions save uh, we'll create our material master configuration click on continue now here we have create our own screen sequence that is z1 now first point is uh, then uh, a, just a minute user can delete screens which are not required let us say in this z1 screen sequence there are different data screens available like basic data 1 basic data 2 which we have checked in mm03 there are different screens then let us say out of this uh, we don't require uh, production resource or tools this is only for example we are doing this for example okay now select the views or uh, data screen which is not required and click on the delete button so this production resource or tools system will not show us in material master data was saved we will observe the changes which we are doing over here at the time of creation of a material master in our another video because this video is a part of our video series for material master configuration now we have covered this first point if uh, user does not want the uh, the particular screen then uh, they can delete the screen which is not required then what is screen number for example let us say if screen number is 4000 for purchasing data view so what is screen number let's say here this is a purchasing view okay now this is a screen number actually screen container means screen number every screen or sub screen has its own number defined in the system okay means what let us say uh, again we will select mm03 transaction code and uh, we will check one material master regarding this to get idea basic data one purchasing right now are enough for us ab02 plan code so we are in now purchasing view so this is a this purchasing view so this is a screen data screen for purchasing view and this is a code 4000 okay here yeah, here just a minute this is a screen number 4000 for purchasing so how to find the code let us say i have press uh, f1 key i will press f1 key in purchasing and here click on technical information okay and we can observe this is a screen number this is a screen number for purchasing view purchasing data screen okay so this purchasing data screen whole screen has a screen number 4000 and what is about this screen number 1001 that we'll discuss in a minute okay so right now we'll close this so 4000 number is the screen number for purchasing data view okay now let's check okay so this is about data screen number okay now here screen type okay this is 
I have not mentioned here screen type, but we will cover this. So, screen type. What is screen type? As I have already shown you in starting of this video that there is a main screen and secondary screen. So, let us say, we'll again, I will show you this just a minute. So, this is the part of our main screen basic data one and all these views are our main screen and this is our additional data or additional screens okay now so here this particular view basic data one basic data two are part of our main screen and if we scroll down let's check this is a document data in inspection text internal comment are a part of secondary screen hence there is a number two you can observe this again i will show you consumption internal comment inspection text etc you can observe this over here okay so these are the part of our secondary screen so what we will do we'll change we'll change this to one okay and then we'll observe the change afterwards so we'll change this to main data screen and save so data was saved this we will check afterwards okay now then the screen number we have checked 4004 purchasing view then what is maintenance status maintenance status is nothing but grouping of a views of the views let's say here basic data one are grouped in k maintenance status is k sales data sales views are grouped as a v now title type this is a title type title type let's say we uh, click on the find button and here title type means let's say so this is the title display material the material code plan code and material type so this is called as a title type okay let's say here uh, single part title type for example dialog box three part or four part title type so right now for this basic data one two and for other uh, data views by default it is mentioned as a two so what we will do we will change the basic data one and two title type uh, to one and we will observe the change afterwards for all the changes which we are doing right now two part title type will change this to one okay and save so basically what is this title type is again i will show you in mm03 display this is mm03 transaction code so display is a title material code is another title plan code and material type so this is a part of our title we are making some kind of changes in this z1 screen sequence and then we will assign the screen sequence afterwards and then we will observe the change in while creation of a material master okay now so we have cover maintenance status uh, title type screen number yes uh, screen number we have covered for purchasing full screen uh, screen number and this is called as sub screens that i will show you Let's say we have selected purchasing data view and click on the sub screen. So, what is this sub screen? As we can uh, 
observed earlier that the purchasing data view has screen sequence 4000. Let us say this is a purchasing data view and so this is purchasing data view full okay and if we take back and if we click on the specific sub screen so this is nothing but a part of a full screen this is called a sub screen 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there the system has divided the purchasing data into six different uh, what we can say different parts so click on the view sub screen session and this is a part of our like a material description and plan so this is a one part 1001 this is number for screen now so this is called as a sub screen okay now so uh, we have finished we are al already uh, we are almost uh, complete our uh, points which we have mentioned for the for this particular uh, topic of define structure of data screens for uh, each screen sequence in sap svohana so that's all for now in this video uh, in our uh, other video series we will cover the remaining points also regarding the material master configuration in sap svohana so that's all for now in this video thank you for watching keep in touch and bye-bye.